Okay, hello everybody. Hope you're doing well. I want to work on another page for the scavenger hunt junk journal. And this time I want to use a book that I got at the thrift store on birds. So animal books are great to get. You've got all these wonderful birds in this book that you can go ahead and clip out and use in your book. So I found one, this one right here, I thought it might be nice. So I'm going to rip that out. Beautiful book. I almost feel bad ripping it out. <clears throat> But I have this page, so my book is starting to get chunky, so I need to be aware of that so it doesn't get too, too chunky. So I want to do something on the opposite of this page, and I was thinking that these yellow birds might be nice. So I'm going to cut them out, take a gander, hmm, I don't know if that's the way I want the branch to go, I, I have to turn it, <laughs> I have to turn it this way, I can't. I'm not getting it right. I guess it would be like that. So let me pull off some of this. And what if I had just a strip of it coming down the side? So it brings the color from the other side. I don't think going all the way down. I think just going to where I have this other sewing. So I'll pull it off there. Then had the birds. That would work. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a little bit of pink. that off a tab along the side here so I could use Mod Podge I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it down though instead of the Mod Podge same difference accomplished okay So I'm going to just place the birds on here so I can keep them in the angle that I want them. And maybe just do a patchwork here, like another piece coming over, breaking the edge. Or just up to it, kind of like a, it's on a curtain. So to balance it, I'm going to put a little bit of this down in the corner. So I have this music stencil. I think I'm going to lightly stencil over the top. But first, I think what I'm going to do is do a little watercolor on the page. So now I'm going to take my stencil and go over the top. So mm, I think I want to do a lighter, I think I want to do a lighter pink. So I'm pulling out this other pink. So I don't want it to 
become the attention of the page. So let's see, which way do I need to go? I don't know that it matters. I'm going to do it here. Actually, I'm going to do it coming like that. So I'm going to start, see what happens. Actually, for this, the little brush will work better. There we go. So I want to break up the line of this a little bit. So I'm going to take my paint, my handy dandy paint and paint brush, not that one, this one. So this one's just a ratty brush. See? And it just kind of moves. So now I would like just a little bit of this texture, the, the, wa the white, um, moving on the page as well, so you can actually see it. So I think I would also like a tad bit of, I think I would also like a tad bit of green coming on the paper. So I'm going to just see what this does. I might not like it, so I'm going to go gingerly. one's still a little bit too bright for me. So I want to do something else that's going to going to still have it there but break it up a bit. Not that. Maybe I'm going to try a strip of lace. One of the things I think I want to have is this lace coming, this trim coming out. I don't know if I want it there though, to be honest. But I want it before there, so I have to get it in. this side. And just cut it down a little bit. So I think what's needed here to complete this one is to still add a little bit of word stamp to bring that scratchy brown look in. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm going to call it good on that. I added just a piece of text that came from a book. I don't think that name means anything, but it looks great by the birds, almost as if it's identifying them or something. So there's my page. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop there so I don't bulk it up anymore. I've got this whole page here, so you can see how that's where the bulk of the book is going in the middle. So I've used the outer parameters of the page to add any kind of bulk. So that's my page. I hope you like it, and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.